I want to show you something. Come, come, come. Look! I'm so proud. My dishes are clean. For those of you guys who don't know me, I hate doing the dishes. I'm not the best at it. It's a weakness of mine that I've been trying to do better at. And I've been better. I've been cleaning the dishes every night. But here's what I found out. And here's what I realized. Come, come close. Look! Flipping look at this. It's so annoying. Water stains. So, here's the story. I would leave dishes here and I wouldn't clean them. Yes, I mean, I was lazy. But I would always have this specific water jug. I'd leave it here. And then I'd wash my hands, do the stuff. And every time I would wash it, water would get onto this. And eventually, it would dry around here. And eventually, how many eventually is I'm gonna say? It left these water stains. And it's so annoying. And I realized something pretty deep. It's way too early for this, but I'm gonna share it anyway. One day pretty soon, I'm gonna leave this car. When I leave, this is no longer gonna be my problem, but it's gonna be someone's problem. So whoever that is, I'm sorry. But I remembered something that a friend of mine said to me, and as a great man in my life, he said, Edward, whatever we don't take care of, whatever we don't deal with, we actually pass on to someone else. And I was like, oh, dang, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. And it made me think, man, what are the areas of my life that I am not dealing with? And one day, my future family's gonna have to take care of it. My wife's gonna have to take care of it. My friends are gonna have to take care of it. The people I work with, they're gonna have to deal with my issues because I decided to be lazy and not take care of it. So that's my question today. What are the things that you and I are not dealing with that one day, if we're not careful, we're gonna pass it on? <sighs> okay. All right, guys, I wanna show you something. Ang cute mo, Edward. Ang cute-cute mo lang talaga. Mm, sino kayang future wife na yan sabi ni Ed May Aba? Edward, ang aga-aga, ang aga-aga. Pero maganda yung uh, mensahe na sinasabi niya, ha? Kung hindi mo uh, pangalagaan ngayon, hindi mo iingatan ngayon ng isang bagay, pwede mong ipasa yan na sira-sira sa next person na magiging kasama mo sa buhay. Kindly, kindly remember that uh, people. No? Kasi maganda yung uh, ano niya, mensahe niya. Kung alagaan mo isang bagay, pakaingatan mo. At uh, hindi mo haya ang masira yon mm. Pag alis mo, ganun pa rin, parang brand new pa rin, iiwanan ang isang bagay doon sa next nagagamit nito. The importance or the value of one thing dapat ay isa puso at isa isip mo palagi. Hmm. Hindi lang sa bagay yan, guys, applicable. I think sa person din. Kung uh, ikaw ay marunong magpahalaga uh, sa isang tao, sigurado mag-iiwan ka na magandang bagay, magandang uh, feeling doon sa isang tao na yan na kanyang ito treasure pang hapang buhay. Hmm? Uh, napakaswerte naman magiging wife ni Dodong eh ngayon pa lang iniisip niya na kung ano ang pwedeng mangyari pag siya ay uh, hindi nag-iingat, hindi nag-aalaga ng mga bagay-bagay at hindi uh, responsible sa mga ginagawa niya. Well done ka doon Dodong uh, uh, nag-mature ka na nga at ito uh, may pa-update ka, napapansin ko, hindi lang ito ngayon. Parang every week, meron kang ishinishare sa mga tao. Uh, mga petty things, mga maliliit na bagay-bagay. Pero pag i-apply mo sa buhay, ay talagang anlaki ng impact nun. Thank you, Edward John Bobber. Good morning, everybody. Hope, hope nakuha niyo ang mensahe na gustong ibigay ni Edward John Bobber sa ating lahat na sumusubabay sa kanya. And uh, yes, That's our morning update. Thank you, Edward, for the mm, tip. Diba? Simpleng tip. Simpleng tips sa buhay, pero napakalag napakalaking bagay kung ating seseryosohin. Alexander likes to juice. Magandang maga.